Hey everyone, Jetpen here. Welcome back to Sky Vaults episode 69 here. Uh, we have some nice automation capabilities now that we've gotten our redstone. Um, we're going to be maybe unlocking eye spawners. Haven't decided fully on that yet, but we're definitely going to use cabling from refined storage as well as importers, exporters from refined storage to start transporting items, getting them in and out of our system. Um, and then maybe set up a quick little crushing wheel or millstone setup for the raw chromatic into the bulk smelter so we can always have a lot of chromatic iron after every single vault being auto-processed. Should be a good time. See y'all in there. All right, here we go. So, yes. Oh. I hear... The pitter-patter. By that, I mean the... Annoying sounds of this guy. Hello. What do you have? Junk. Junk. I almost I almost killed you on the spot, but I'm I'm benevolent and nice. Kinda. <laughs> Alright, let's put these away. So, uh what we first things we want to do here is get made some processors. But we also want to start fishing this line down here it's nice you can do it this uh this way still almost got there okay so this line will be officially centered here probably gonna run it along the ceilings now what i'm not might do what i think i'm gonna do here is run that to these two oops and then these two and then we can have a importer exporter on all of these so that's six that we need um there might be a limitation on that that we need to do probably only gonna do the bulk smelter for now I think. We might hook these up to some redstone controls later, but for right now, we're just going to do an importer into the bulk smelter. Because the other raw materials, fortunately, not fortunately, or unfortunately, cannot be doubled. You can get a little extra resource from them. So if you just tap U while hovering everything, it's just uses. So we can either get experience nuggets. Don't need that in this. Um, or... We can get like a chance for some gold dust, which is like just not necessary for the vanilla things in particular. Maybe for the modded ores later on, maybe. And it looks like the enrichment chamber we can get plus twenty five percent. So it's just like not really worth our time at the moment. At the moment, um, and I'd rather just smelt all these up. So if we grab one of each of these, I think that'll be really good. Yeah. Uh, we finally got the bone bone meal going into here, um, which is really nice. Get rid of that. I think the other one fell behind behind. Put that there. All right, but anyway, let's make some importers, exporters, and go from there. So, importer, we're going to need... couple of those. Oh, no, but I need the regular... Ah, I made too many. Whoops. I mean, when, when have I never not made too many? So that'll be from there. Um, what else do we need this for? The dripstone? Yeah, dripstone. Probably gonna need some upgrades for these guys as well. We're gonna need... Exporter. So save that one as well. Got to make a couple of these. Okay. And then we'll make a couple of these. 
we're not gonna we're gonna need less of the exporters right we're gonna need yeah basically only two here as well um let me get let me get out this let me check uses on this because it, it might need to be specifically the crushing wheel it does okay it does need to be specifically the crushing wheels, which, again, are, like, ridiculously easy to make, which is nice. We're going to make some belts. Which will be the fry, uh, fried kelp. It'll be the smelted kelp. <laughs> so let's get that smelting. Um, We're going to need probably shoots. Yes. Just for speed's sake, I guess. Probably some chests to speed up those processes. Processes. Uh, funnels, which again requires a dry kelp there. So we'll let that we'll let that smelt a little bit. So there's their drawer to be expected. Let's do exporter. So we go here, that, that, that. Should. Oh, I, I missed the connection. Right, 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 right. I forgot we missed the connection here. I was like, that should start going immediately, but we missed a wire here. Beautiful. Oops, one too many. Hmm. Didn't miss another wire, did I? I don't believe there's a length restriction on these, right? Does anybody know if there's a range restriction on these? Huh. Oh. No. Hmm. Okay, let's uh deny you you you. That should work. I'm a little confused, and I'm not missing a I'm not missing a cabling length here, right? Go check here. That's not what I meant to do. Hmm. Yep. All connected. Does it need more power, maybe? Shouldn't. Check this connection, maybe. Insert extract. Check the controller, make sure it sees it. It does not see it. Hmm. Maybe there is a length restriction on this. There shouldn't be, though. I reset it. There it is. Gotcha. Weird. Now it's working perfectly fine. Hmm. Now, of course, this doesn't have a stack upgrades, but we don't need it to have, like, a big stack upgrade. It's just, it'll work over time. Yeah, I just need to reset it for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Weird. Maybe because I had this and then, and then connected it instead of, ah, uh, I think that's what it was. So I, I placed this, then connected it, connected the cabling. So this was already placed. So I had to... Just replace this. That's probably what it was. That's probably what it was. Okay, anyway. Uh, importer. On you. And we don't care about any restrictions on that. So that'll just import everything back into the system. We should have drawers ready to go for all of these things. Which is very nice. And that'll slowly over time do exactly what we needed it to do. So, that's really, really good. It's really, really good. 
So, 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 so. We need to set up a nice little processing belt here. Let's go get our... Oh, you know what else we can do? We can set up these guys. Well, my, I might leave that one as is, but um, these guys... ...can be set up on an importer as well. Does that need... It? I didn't need that for anything. Oh, they needed to, to connect this thing, huh? to my other trim there. So. Classic. So. We will set these. Let's get a little bit more trim here. Yeah, I think dumping that through a chute directly in is probably the fastest way still. These guys, which again are kind of slow right now, would be kind of nice to have a direct access to the bulk smelter. How could we manage that without a cabling system? Hmm, okay. Maybe not. But if we have these go into... Just a simple chest here. Grab some hoppers. I know these aren't the fastest things in the world, but, you know, they get the job done here. Because then this will achieve the recycler thing that we need to have happen here. Uh, which will be very convenient. Beautiful. And then this, this will put it into the drive systems as, themselves as well. So, like, things that don't have a drawer space will get put into there. Which is exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. So, we need, um, at create, we need you, you, probably you, definitely you. Um, we're going to make a belt, which was something else. I don't remember what it was. That plus chromatic, which is totally fine. We'll make a couple belts. Uh... Crusher. We need to make some funnels. We don't need anything super organized here. It should just do everything we need it to do. I think that's good to go. So let's hop down here. Let's hop down here. Um, I guess really the question is just where we're going to put this. And do we need it to be ridiculously fast? Not really. Oh, true. Kelp would need to be smoked. I think it works on both, but it, yeah, it, it might need to be have the smoking section for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, let's um. I know it's going to look a little silly. But it does pretty well getting this thing facing the right way. And we can point this downwards. I guess we could have done it from that one as well. You know what? Let's do it from that one. Will that work? That will work. Didn't need it to be that, though. Okay. Just want to record a little bit of the science of this one. Because it's been a second since I've done this. So, we want a... It can be it can be floating here. It does not need to be... It does not need to be on ground floor here. Because it's going to be fully automated.
That is not where I want that to be. That is how I want that to be. Uh, that's where our crushing drawer crushers are gonna go. Oops. Okay, so we spread a belt on this. Not what I wanted to do. I I, de I genuinely went to go control Z that, by the way. Okay, so there is what we want. Okay. So this is going this way. Perfect. So I know for me, the crushing wheel, the easiest way to do it was just do this. I don't know why I'm using trim as my scaffolding block, but, you know, here we are. So that does that. Um, so we're going pretty fast. All right. And then we do this. Who did that? Big J with that prime four. 78 months. That's, that's a big deal. Big cheers. Thank you so much for sharing your prime here. What a great way to support the content. I tried cracking this up with uh, casing or brass or andesite. Um, I've done that before. Yeah. Not in this pack. Ow. Gonna die. <laughs> okay. Awkward. <laughs> and the belt flung my body off. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. Deserved. Deserved. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we just do this. <laughs> Alright, that was funny. I'm really happy we're recording on YouTube for that one. Uh, this is going to be that only. Uh, actually, I might have to do this, though. To get this fully connected here. the wrong one classic perfect oh that's so beautiful look at that it's, it's a thing of beauty right there okay and then we funnel this again now you could make this way more compact of course oops oh i didn't realize you could do those that way that's kind of cool Okay, and then we're going to do Importer. Now, this one might need to get upgraded a little bit. I think I can sneak this on the ceiling here above these guys, which is nice. Perfect. Now, this is probably going to process a little bit faster than that. So, now we have this guy going. But then what we can do here is put this on this list. And we're, we're fully automated. We're fully automated. The thing is, we don't need a ton of... Um, we don't need a ton... ...of extra stuff in here. Like, we don't need to process super quickly. We're, we're backed up right now. But once it gets caught up, and it will, once it gets caught up, I think we're going to be good... Because it's we're only getting, like, a stack of raw chromatic at a time. You know, we're not going specifically in here doing all this junk. You know what I mean? Um, but let's go see how much the upgrades are for this. Because I don't think they're terrible. Uh, they're not great, though. And then the stack requires a pog. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I need a couple more of these. I'm just going to do another stack of that. Okay, so we have two of these. Let's make two speed upgrades here. Let's do speed upgrades on the... Importers, I think? Oh, that one's keeping up, though. I think on this one specifically. Oh, no, they should be about the same, though. 
Is that ever so slightly keeping up or maybe catching up? <laughs> Create rite of passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumped on the conveyor, didn't think about the consequences there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I think that's keeping up. So as long as it's keeping up, I don't particularly care. But I guess we could, like, help this one out a little bit. A stack upgrade would be more ideal. Oh, no, this is actually keeping up without that. So we don't even need that. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is processing less fast. And like I said, this just needs to catch up. I don't, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. So let's put those in there then. Which will make a big difference. Oh, I need to put this on the uh, do not deny list. Sorry, forgot about that. There we go. Beautiful. So this will start giving us all that chromatic You'll love to see it. All right. I feel really good with that. I feel really good with that. We also have now this automated as well, which is fantastic for us. Um, that should still be connected. Good. Yep. Still connected. Um, and this is this is like the, the basics. You know, we're going to slowly but surely add all these over time here. And this is using 23 FE a tick at the moment, which is not bad at all. And again, once... Once we can't keep up with scaffolding anymore from our vaults, we'll just swap that over to either charcoal or blaze rods. Like uh, there's a there's a slew of things we can we can transfer that to, uh, which is really nice. So what I might do though here real quick, just because I'm I want to start it going now. I want to run a cable to our. Oh, I'm out of that though. All right, let's... Oh, I need to smell some quartz. Got it. Okay, uh, quartz. And we could do this slow smelting-wise, I think. Okay. So we'll get that going, and then uh, maybe after this vault we run, we're going to run a cable out to here to import all that stuff. Same thing with this, is we'll, we'll start importing all this stuff instead of uh, stuff. Oh, that's right. The, the funnel can be upgraded with um, brass, right? I could also do a shoot as well, couldn't I? I could do a shoot to uh, drop a full... A nice full stack on there. Problem with this is we have to get this guy going, which is not a big deal, to be honest. Like, this is very easy to get going. I just don't feel like it. Because it's annoying. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do that. But, we have all the stuff here. Let's Let's... Complete this guy. I love that we got a bunch of green terracotta from our raw vaults. Super easy to get. Just much like the... Um, much... It's weird that you can't like... There we go. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go get some dripstone, huh? Much like the stone, it's just kind of more efficient to mine it. Okay. All right, let's go manually get some stone. The drawer had about 3,000 in it, which is pretty sweet. I like that. We could definitely put those away. And uh, hopefully our drawer is good enough to hold all those. I didn't actually need to check. All right, that needs an upgrade as well. Um... Honestly, that needs a void upgrade more than anything. So let's actually make that. One of the few things that carbons. Oh, not what I wanted there. A few things carbons used for. Okay, uh, I think I have some compacting drawers in here. I do. I'm just going to put these here. We'll have random stuff go into there periodically, but that's fine.
All right, uh, good. Get the rock out. 40? I immediately regret. Oh my God, it's 600 of these? I immediately regret. I immediately regret everything. Not grabbing those in the vaults. There's no way to automate these. Uh, can you make a um? Can you make an uh, animal pen with those? Turtles can be put in the pens. Okay, that'll that'll make it a lot easier. Yeah, we'll have to get a turtle pen going then. Okay. Yeah, that'll that'll have to be our our thing there. That is a lot of turtle eggs. I mean, seven hundred of that's a lot, but that's just bone meal, right? That's just bone meal. Also, the cool thing is now with the crusher. We can also Oh, I guess not. I thought you could millstone these ones. I guess not. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. So we could do that. Bummer. I was going to say we could we could um either bulk smelt these or crush these, but you can't. We could do that with bones. We could do the auto automatic crafting with one of these but you need automatic genius for this which is just not happening yeah the regular bones are available which would be good because that would that would feed our supply of the bone meal here uh wherever i put that. i think i put that in the middle because that's going to be a centralized thing yeah oh we actually filled up on this no way that's all filled up huh Interesting. Okay, we should, we should just stop this then. Honestly. And probably get that going to honey. Yeah. We'll get that we'll get that go automated with honey at some point. I think 12,000 honeycomb is going to be more than enough. All right, we'll figure that out later. I want to run a vault. So, Yes, vault time. Um, let's do. We don't have any favors. Yep, we didn't. We didn't manage to find any favors in the um, in the place there. I should be looking at the levels of implicits, but I think we're just gonna go once again. Once again, with four lower. Actually, no. I'm gonna even do five. I think they're at level thirty-seven. Is perfectly fine, and we'll do a random vault here. And, uh, yeah, maybe do running, maybe run a prediction with Twitch chat, but, uh, I will see you off at the vault. All right, here we go. So we check the bounty and we have basically a free piece of echo, which is really nice, really nice. So we're going to submit some polished, uh, vault stone, which I might just have enough of. I do because we were building with it, which is kind of funny. Oops. Uh, activate, please. <laughs> so good. And then this one we're going to re-roll, because... Meh. Like the monolith again. If it was a sword, I might go for it, but it's an axe. Complete scavenger hunt. Not for that reward. It's a lot of diamonds. And, a, and some gear. Knowledge essence. I'm going to activate that one. That, one's, that was worth that's worth. I mean, free echoes are free echoes, you know? Love that. Okay, that's good. Um, I have my inventory displayed now. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that on or not, but that's going to like let me know if I'm like filled up. Uh, I do think we are good on our durabilities. I know chat may not think it, but it's... 163, 176 should be enough. This one's obviously going to get replaced, and these are, everything else is all good. So, uh, The prediction for Twitch chat is, we're, uh, will we just complete the vault? Uh, that's that's the prediction. And then one last thing here is we need to check if we're going to pop that point into something. I don't believe I'm going to. Maybe into sorcery, if anything. Yeah. 
And we can always orb or regret that a little bit later. I think I think sorcery is well worth going for. Okay. Upgrade or replace my pickaxe? No, this is this is just to vein mine stuff with. This is my actual pickaxe. Yeah. We have a bunch of throwaway chromatics just to vein mine with. Elixir Bolt, love to see it. So good chance that we complete. Not a guarantee though. Not a guarantee. Put those in there's his temps. Okay. As always, taking a second to load here. Let's just hop over. Hi. Okay. Very good. That wasn't worth hardly anything. These are worth not so much. Oops. Oh, these are backwards. That's why. Wonder why my hotkeys weren't working. Any others I'm missing here? Yes. Ooh. Happily take that. Definitely put all you away. All of that away. Let's go in the junk. All right. All right. Because we are elixir, we are going to be looting the first room completely. How we how we usually do? Can't mind with a stake. I you know. Oh, they were worth a decent amount. Good. Okay. The fact that the, these chests are worth something and not zero is usually enough. Usually. But not always. Yeah, it's like the, uh... Monty Python, you know. Mo cutting down big trees with a herring just doesn't quite work. Okay, very good. Okay, ore is worth an okay amount. Not a ton, a ton. All right, and the basic guys are worth some amount as well. But you get, you just get a lot of them. Which is super nice. So we just gotta loot. Just gotta loot. Okay. Uh, anything to test here? Not really. I do hate that the leaf zombies make zo baby zombie sounds. Hate that. Barely made that. My scroll wheel is not happy with me there. All right, good. Let's keep going north. I mean, one of those farms is super easy to do. Uh, this is just habits I've run. Uh, sp oh, spiders do spawn in this vault. Right, right, right. Let's check for... Stuff. Oh, there was one up there. See, I, how did I not see that? I guess I was just looking too fast. Could be our lodestone. Nice. So, room two is our lodestone. We still need the zoop line. So, and the ores are worth a decent chunk. Maybe not amazing amounts, but certainly certainly a worthwhile amount. Oops. Four Ashim, I'll take that. Black Opal, unfortunately. Better than zero, I guess, though. Okay, those are all good to go. Excellent. Nice. That broke, but we expected it. Hey, Steve. 
Minecraft's going very well. Thank you for asking. Beautiful. <laughs> At a stake only vault. Well, they had the cow vault, right? I don't know if that still exists in this version. What a late POI. I guess it's better than no POI. I thought that was a wooden chest. But still. Now this is a POI. Unfortunately. Gotten, I think I've gotten every player or except for Hoop Line at this stage. This is a mod pack called Vault Hunters. And you do go into kind of random maps, yeah. Oh, spiders are worth a decent chunk, huh? Okay. Good, so we'll be hoping for spiders. Uh, do we do upstairs already? I feel like we did, but I'm just gonna double check. We did, okay. Alright, let's keep going north then. Let's check. That could be probably not a lodestone, but could be an altar. The ads are how I know it's time to resubsmile. <laughs> Faraday, thank you very much for the 45 months of Prime. I really appreciate you sharing that here. Ah, just another lodestone. That is how it goes. These guys are worth a decent amount, right? Yeah. Ooh, coins are worth a decent chunk. Yeah, if we can find, like, good coin POIs, we'll be super set. Oh, come on. And the spiders, of course. So thanks for all the follows, everybody, today. Appreciate that. We already knew those were, like, not the best. Let's go here. Let's keep going north. Scrolling over stuff too much. There's some ores. We know ores are pretty like lackluster, but they're also not terrible. Darn it. We're going down first. Okay, good. Oh, these guys are worth a ton, too. Or the level ones of those guys are worth a ton. And the level twos, nice. But also worth a decent chunk there. So I'll take that, I guess. What are you guys worth? Ooh. Slimes are big money as well. And uh, Faraday, seriously, thank you so much for the uh, 45 months of Prime. Prime is such a great way to support the content. It's very epic of you. Okay. 
Nice. Halfway there, and 17 minutes left, so we should be good. Oh, we are still considering uh, doors soon, huh? Forgot about that. Yesterday, the Crystal Cave is my first room. Um, main level got me all my elixir. Yep. Yep. The, uh... We've had a we've had a few like one room elixir completes because the first room just had like absurd amounts of what we needed in it. This felt really nice. <laughs> Doesn't look like any opaline. But, some elixir, some ores, always good. Very annoying. Fortunately, I think you're worth my time, so... Spiders are definitely worth the time. Nice. Yeah, level 50 tools are gonna feel really nice because by the time we by the time that's happening, patch 10 will be out. Again, sorry this is so far ahead of patch 10 YouTube, but that's you know how it goes. Um diamond room? I think we need diamonds all that badly. It's like a crystal or chromatic cave, but for diamonds. Um, I was gonna say the nice. Yeah, the patch ten update will have a lot of nice things in it for tools. The 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 jewel cutting um, and crafting is gonna be a lot cooler. So, there's actually a chance we should just save a bunch of jewels, but I think we'll just go with the flow, you know? Save like we normally would, and then go from there. Ooh, hello. 50% chance, by the way. Fifty percent chance there. Actually, very okay with that trap chest because, again, worth a lot of elixir. Just nice. It's supposed to, Carlos, but I haven't heard anything about it yet. I'm not, not really worried about that though. Like the update is good, but not game changing like patch 9 was so it's just like sorry it's game changing but not like we still have plenty of things to do regardless you know I don't have a spot for leggings in there yet well we do now why are spiders so fast they just have a weird they have a weird jump to them. That's what I don't like about the spiders. Uh, I do kind of want to get this. You never know if there's an oopline ore hiding in there. Oh, actually, though. A lot of elixir as well. Caught up with your own garden today because it's looking a little grown. Nice, nice. I've been, uh, I use the term pilfer. I don't know if that's correct or not. Some, uh, maple seeds from our neighborhood. 
Try to get those those started. A couple different varieties. Regular, red, and uh, Japanese maple as well. So Now you itch all over? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. This is an ore room, right? Yeah. Which, again, I <laughs> we've been so stubbornly on this... On this bounty, we really should have just replaced it. But it's going to feel so nice when we actually get there. And I do think the black steel is worth it. Like, the black chromatic steel is that annoying to get that it's worthwhile. I do a little bit of fishing. Not too much. I'm a small hobbit. Yeah. It depends on my mood and the time of year. Like, I have a license and everything to go. I just, it really depends on my mood and time of year. For sure. Because I got, I got those, uh, I've got some apple saplings that are like on year three right now. That are looking pretty good. And I'm not an expert in this area by any stretch. But I enjoy it. And I think I like I think I like growing trees more than I like growing like plants. You need to stop burping. Oh my gosh, I can't hit it. Die. Just hit the big one until it dies, okay. Oh my goodness. What mobs were I just fighting? That was were zombies. But they had they were leaf zombies. They all fit they, all the zombies are retextured to fit the theme of their vaults. diamonds. Or did I put those away properly? Right. Yeah, so these guys are the heavy mobs from this, this theme of vault. Vault fighters are every everyone. And then those, like, leaf guys that we kind of melt, you know, hot knife through, butter through. Those are, like, the basic weak horde mob zombies. Apples are usually going to, going to be hardier. Going to be a hardier rootstock than the eating apple varietal. You'll probably not get very heavy. No, for sure. Twistle Mouse. I'm not too worried about it. I just like the idea of having a couple trees and, and bushes in my yard in the future. Primarily blueberry and raspberry. Jersey's really good for blueberries um, and berry bushes in general. Ooh, got six escalium there. That's nice. Very close to finishing up this. Which we're actually cutting it relatively close here. Funny enough. Why do the ores glow? It's just how they're made. I don't know. That was the design team's choice, I guess. You have a peach tree. You make peach peach shine out of it. That's awesome. Nice. Strawberry patches as well are very good in uh, or do well in Jersey, or at least the ones we had growing up. Twenty-seven varieties growing up. Nice. That's awesome. I really don't use the javelin often, huh? I might go over back. I might go over to Frost Nova. Like regret all my javelin points and and go to Frost Nova. I really thought I was gonna love like love javelin. Just 
haven't used it nearly as much as I thought it was going to. I would like to be in the healing cloud, please. Okay, seven minutes here. We got lodestones kind of everywhere. Yeah, the mobs move a lot better in water now. Yep. And sure, Twisted Mouse, we can go over that again. I, I genuinely don't remember, like, don't know how to describe it, describe it. It's just one of those. I usually, I think, so I think it's let the lava flow. Um, over a block. And then place, so there's no lava flow, there's no lava in the middle of it. And then you remove all that, remove the source of the lava, and then put the bucket of water in the center of that. And that's what'll get you your tunnel down. There's a million ways to do it. Just let lava flow and then put water on it somehow. Yeah. And if the lava is flowing over a block, it will leave the center open for you to place the water in. Oh, hello. Uh, you need to die. Thank you. I would prefer not to get stuck on these while I die to this guy. Holy smokes, that guy does a lot. Okay. Oh, you're fast too. What the heck? rude. Nice little XP bump. It's hard to see with the green. Oh no, that's where we came from. Uh, we gotta go south here. done that so many times with this song already it feels like the um it feels like minecraft music for some reason i know we could be gaining a lot by by looting here but i i really would love to find a uh, favor On our way back to it. I mean, we, we passed a lot of lodestones, obviously. But. We know exactly where there, where there's one, which is back at our start here. Still not quite ready yet. down here. I guess we'll loot these. Considering making some, um... It's probably gonna lose a few. But considering making, like, crafting some swords... At this level. Because it feels like we'd be pretty good Maybe get some better implicits. I think 47 is like the next big one for chaining though, or 50 maybe it is.
nothing. It is kind of wild how much I feel like I've always saw altered. Oh, there's one. Uh, maybe? I think. It's gonna dash back here. Is that one? No, it's not one. Oh, no, it is one. Yay, we get into favor. Nice. All right, cool. Now I'm just happy to kind of leave, actually. Yeah, so the deep slate, deep slate bricks there. Versus there's just a deep slate is how that goes. There is no fire aspect, I believe. This is not vanilla, but this is very far from vanilla Minecraft. Oh, this is our first room. Right? Yeah, this is our first room. Which had the lodestone downstairs, I want to say. Got to look for it in a second. It was upstairs. Or maybe it was second room in the line here. I don't know. There was a few. I like one enchantment that exists in all of Minecraft, one enchantment that exists here. Like what what are we looking for? This is not really based on enchantments. Efficiency 5 is in the game that we're playing. But if you're talking about for like swords and stuff, like, so you see how like the, there's all these numbers here. So the swords have implicit damage and then you can roll stuff on them like prefixes and suffix wise. So, all right, big GG's and a nice little level up. I'll take that. Only 91 chests though. Also congrats to believers as well. <laughs> But we, I guess we spent a lot of time looting um, other things. Uh, let me get that prediction going. Nice. Excuse me. Those are all good. Now we're on the I need to repair stuff. Or get new stuff. Uh, train of thought here. This does not go here. This goes here. Uh, you're off. Okay, good. How we do loot-wise here? Uh, well, let's... Sorry, let's put these away first. And then how we do loot-wise here. We did... Pretty good. For, like, le looting less, feels like. You know, not too many chests. Got a nice chunk of ores. Look at all those ores. No Oopaline, which is literally the last one we have yet to mine. Which is kind of funny. Um, but we did get a... Oh, the, it was Tubium was the last vault. Sorry. That's a lot of boxes. All right. Happily take that. You know what I might do? I might... Add here. And we got the favor, too, which is really nice. All right. Gonna add those in. To that spot so then they'll, they'll always have a spot there which is nice let's go ahead and open up that let's start emptying out those oh it's so much faster look at that Pew. <laughs> oh that's satisfying okay and then our recycler here is actually going to be automated as well that might be worth keeping i think living is the one we don't have a lot of we'll put those away Okay, these are all scrappy, one common. Bloop. Nothing there. Oh, drawer upgrade, I'll take that. I'll, I'll, I'll fairly happily take that. Now, that was the only new transmog we got. Doesn't mean we um, get anything else here. 
you know, could have gotten a repeat. Repeat. Nope. I think we're scrapping every single one of these. I mean, we're just at that point where it's just like not really worth keeping a lot of these things. Oh, uh, we might repair the helmet. We might also craft a new helmet. I, I kind of, I'm kind of curious here because yeah, we got a few minutes here. Let me grab some alloy, which is this junk, which is painite. All right. Grab as much of that as we can. Let's slap that all into there. Then we just need a bunch of bronze in there. No problem. Put a bunch of bronze in there. I'm just kind of curious on... Because we're level 43 now. Let's just check. Is it a helmet? And maybe a chest plate we need? Let's just see what we get. Good morning, Justin. How are you today? Wow. We're still in old implicits, but that high rolled. That's what? Tw uh, 35? It's pretty good. Armors do have new implicits. Nice. So, we should cr actually craft. Uh, and this is very workable. So, this is this is going to be our new. I mean, it low rolled on implicits, but it's still better than what we had, but, you know, better than what we had before. So, we should do. Almost a full armor run, right? And just try to get some rare pluses of these. I need some diamonds. No problem. Um. Am I short there? Gold plating. No problem. Let's just do, like, full armor things. Hope to get a not scrappy. Not yet. Of course, we got full scrappy. There's a 13 armor boots. It's just really hard to beat two prefixes. Two prefixes is really all you need. You can do so much with that, you know? So, like, yeah, like, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, like, this is same armor. Or, no, not same armor. Minus two armor, plus half a heart, plus four resistance. Plus, like, 12 um, regen. So, that's going to be fine for now. I just don't know when this implicit happens. If, it, if it's like 42, we might mess with it. It's just Scrappy's really rough to work with. You can get good stuff, but it's, it's, it's super rough to work with. Yeah, you have to like, except for early on, you have to really roll well. Um... So, what's in the most dire need of being replaced? Probably our helmet? Nothing has lower than 10 implicit. Probably our helmet just because of the durability. So, let's just go all out on the helmets. And by all out, I mean three helmets. Oh, we got a common. Nice. So we got a common with 12, which is pretty good. I mean, this has the 13, like I said, but it's just like... It's specifically for armor, you really need to have two. You really gotta have two. So let's roll this up a, up, up a little bit and see what we can get. No. There's six armor. That actually might be good. I don't think we really need a damage increase, though. It is a pretty high roll, though. I mean, you're talking 18 armor there from that. What does that put us at? 56. We're at 75%. So we are higher than we were before. We were at 73% before, you know? So. No, no word on it at gameplays. 
that I'm aware of. It is repairable, but I don't think it's worth repairing. Because we're so close to these new implicits, you know? Like, as long as our defensive stats are high enough at the moment, I'm pretty okay, I'm pretty good with it. Um, I think once we hit level 50 and we, our leveling starts to slow down, that's when we're going to, like, really focus in on, like, getting epic rare to Omega pieces for everything. And those are going to repair as much as we possibly can, you know? So... We're going to give it a shot there. But YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. We have a nice nice little armor crafting sesh there. Not too bad. I mean, this thing is potential. Has potential, you know. Um, high roll on the implicit, but yeah. Um, I might go look up some of those other things as well. We'll see what we're going to level our crystals to for sure. I think this... Do I have a pair of pants? Yeah. This is going to be one of our armor stands down below. But yeah, if you're new, drop us up on the channel. I seriously love to have you back. Maybe share this with somebody who likes Sky Vaults. A humongous shout out. I know they say this every episode, but it really does mean a lot. It really does mean a lot to all the subs uh, coming on over, sharing their primes, or all the you know everybody coming over, sharing their primes, sharing their you know joining the jo just subbing in, joining the Patreon, all that stuff. The the little bit above and beyond extra helps so very much at this stage of the YouTube growth. Um, just paying the bills, letting me know that YouTube's worth putting a lot of time into, putting some more effort into. Um, so seriously, thanks so much for supporting that way. But seriously, and I'll I'll try to always end with this. Just watching is the absolute best way to support any content. Watching, interacting, commenting, liking, sharing it with a friend who might like some Sky Bolts is just the absolute best way. Um, the extra stuff is very much appreciated, but the first and foremost is, is just watching. So... Thanks for doing that, and we'll uh, catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.